our loving and generous God. We praise and thank you for the bountiful blessings you have given us. Thank you for giving us mind that can know and heart that can love. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic that had caused a lot of changes in our lives. We are sorry for the times we have failed you. We humbly ask for your forgiveness. Father, help us stay focused on our studies. When learning becomes difficult, grant us the gift of courage and enthusiasm. Grant us the grace to use our knowledge in making difference into the lives of the people around us. All this we pray in your mighty name. Amen. Hello! Welcome to TLE class. I'll be your teacher, Mr. Oliver Narang. Here are the rules in our online class. Rule number one, be prompt. Be in your online class 10 to 15 minutes before the call begins. Rule number two, check your internet connection and your devices before the start of the online class. Rule number three, find a quiet and comfortable place to study and keep your things nearby. Rule number four, dress appropriately. No sleeveless, no topless, no wearing of shorts when attending the virtual class. Rule number five, turn off your microphone when someone is speaking or when it is not yet your turn to speak. Rule number six, turn on your camera so that your teacher and classmate can see you. Rule number seven, pay attention while your teacher is discussing or while your classmate is speaking. Rule number eight, be respectful. Avoid doing things that may disrupt your teacher and classmates. Rule number 9. Use the chat box appropriately. Post your comments or questions that are only related to the lesson. Rule number 10. Participate actively. Answer when your teacher calls your name. Rule number 11. Do the different tasks online and submit your requirements on time. Rule number 12. Be safe online. Do not give your password and your personal information to anyone. Thank you. Happy learning. Happy learning class! How are you doing today? I hope you're all good. Please stay home and keep safe. I'm Sir Oliver Narag. Welcome to our video lesson in TLE9 Illustration. For today's video, we're going to discuss the first module for our first quarter with the learning outcome, Draw Basic Shapes in Proportion with Illustration Requirement. For our most essential learning competencies. Most essential learning competencies Identify the characteristics of the element of design. Form. Reminders Get your notebook and ball pen to take down notes while watching this video. Element of design, form. What is form? Form, it refers to an object that has three dimensions, meaning it has length, width, and depth. Forms describe volumes and mass, or the 3D aspects of objects that take up space. Forms can and should be viewed from any angles. For example, when you hold a baseball, or a small sculpture, you are aware of curves, angles, indentations, and edges, that is considered as their forms. Form adds another dimension to shape. A circle is a flat, two-dimensional shape. When you add the shading that transforms the circle into a sphere, it takes on three-dimensional form, like a ball you could throw or bounce. Forms were measured by their height, width and depth. Basic forms are three-dimensional figures including spheres, cubes, cylinders, pyramids, and cones. 
If an object has height, width, and depth, it is a form. In design, there are two types of form. The geometric form and the organic form. Let's talk about geometric forms. Geometric form are forms that can be man-made. These are the type of forms that are mathematically precise in all its angles and edges. Whether simply or complex, they produce a feeling of control or order. Spheres, cubes, cylinders are under this example. Geometric forms have specific names associated with them and are typically man-made. How about organic forms? Organic forms are forms that appear more natural. Organic forms whether simple or complex produces a natural feel. They don't specifically have names because they are naturally occurring form. Organic or free forms do not have specific names associated with them and are often associated with naturally occurring forms. When we present a drawing, our aim is to create an illusion of form or three dimensions. We can create this illusion of 3D by understanding how the light reacts on the object and is conveyed to viewers through several factors such as highlight, midtone, core shadow, cast shadow and reflected highlight. Adjusting these areas with values of the local color will result in the illusion of form in a drawing or painting. The highlight is the area where light is directly striking the object. The midtone is the middle value of the native color of an object. The core shadow is the part of an object that is covered. The cast shadow is the shaded part around the objects because of the blocked light. The reflected highlight is the part of an object that is lighter because of the reflected light of surrounding objects. So bago tayo makalimot sa ating mga pinag-usapan ngayong araw, let's have a short recap. For your activity, in a one whole sheet of paper, identify the following types of shape. Write GF if it is geometric form, and OF if it is organic form. You have five minutes to answer the activity. Good luck! Bangun na, dapat lagi kang maaga Para marami ka pang magagawa Maging aktibo, maging ihemplo At maging dangal ka ng bayan mo Maging tapat sa lahat ng oras Simulan natin ngayon and be one of us Tara na't sumama na Sumubay ka sa amin, maiiwan ka Ang oras ay ginto, huwag nang sayangin pa Gamitin 
ang wasto magprajeko watch na likas sa Pinoy ang maging tapat pagyaman ng ibahagi sa lahat guru magulang at mag-aaral maging responsable we advocate time consciousness and honesty. Mo na ang pagbabago Simulan mo sa sarili mo Tara na, bangun na Dapat lagi kang maaga Para marami ka pang magagawa Maging aktibo, maging ehemplo At maging dahal ka ng bahay mo Maging tapat sa lahat ng oras Simulan natin ngayon We advocate time, consciousness, and honesty Tira na't sumama na, tayo'y magkaisa Sumabay ka sa amin, mag-project, watch na Let's check your answers. Likas sa Pinoy Ang maging tapat Pagyaman ang ibahagi sa lahat Guru magulang at Mag-aaral Maging responsable We advocate time Consciousness and honesty Ooh, yeah, yeah oh, oh. Kung nais mo na ang pagbabago Simulan mo sa sarili mo Tara na, bangun na Dapat lagi kang maaga Para marami ka pang maga For your assignment, in a clean sheet of paper 
Draw at least five geometric forms using the different drawing techniques such as hatching, cross-hatching and stippling to make it three-dimensional in form. Your activity will be graded using the rubric. If you have some question, wag mahiyang mag-message sa ating Facebook Messenger group chat. And that ends our lesson for today. Did you understand it very well? If not, you may go back to the lesson presented on your module. O kaya naman, pwede mong i-play ulit ang video na to that will be posted on our FB group. If today's lesson is very clear to you, congratulations. See you soon on our next video lesson. Keep safe and God bless.